am in a little bit of a pickle. So I want Raymond, but I don't have enough money. And I had a good idea to sell some turnips on Nookazon to get me a little bit more cash monies to hopefully pay for Raymond via Nookazon. But as you can see, I'm not broke, but I definitely don't have five million bells to spend. So let's go on an adventure today. All right, Daisy May. 97 bells, absolutely. I'm gonna fill up my pockets. I am so ready. So 97 bells is a great starting price. And I feel like I, I really don't know what to expect. So I'm just gonna fill up my pockets with turnips so I can do a full transaction and get going. I'd say that's good enough for now until I figure out the swing of things. I typed in turnips in the search bar. I went to the first offer I could find and just offered 50,000 bells with two Nook Mile tickets. Um, at this point, I had no idea how much those turnips were actually selling for. I was oblivious the whole time. But I got an offer and I went, not really knowing what to expect. I was shook by the 127 bell price for the turnips. I didn't know where to look for to see that price before you make an offer. No idea. Now, this is completely my fault. I was completely clueless and wasn't paying attention. I sold my turnips anyway. I made a small profit, which is fine. Um, but I was so confused. I was wondering why nobody was talking about the turnip prices. I kind of went into it blind. Again, my fault completely. But I was so confused as to why I was paying, you know, so much, so many bells and, and Nook Mile tickets to be able to barely make a profit on my turnips. But regardless, again, my fault. I said thank you and moved on with the, uh, with my day, basically. Um, and hoped for a better round two in the offers I was looking for. I made another offer this time, again, completely oblivious to the selling price that's right underneath the title and was really hoping for some high selling prices on this one. So I loaded up my pockets with more turnips in high hopes and ready to make some money. Ah, uh, yes. Foiled again by my own stupidity. And at this point, I didn't want to sell my turnips. <laughs> but I ended up selling the turnips anyway, even though I was very confused and irrationally upset by the selling price. But I did it anyway. 
But don't worry, I end up getting down to the bottom of it, I promise. <laughs> so I did another attempt after this sale, and I can't wait for you to see how this one went. So I thought to myself, if the turnip prices are so low, I'm going to offer 20,000 bells. My initial 20,000 bell offer was not enough, apparently, and the seller requested a higher bid. So, in turn, I did 100,000 bells, thinking, sure, why not? Maybe the selling price is higher than 127 bells. I had paid this seller 100,000 bells in hopes that I would get a sweet deal. And I made sure to check the turnip prices first. And foiled again! <laughs> I, I said forget it. Never mind. Take the 100,000 bells. Goodbye. I said thank you so much and left. And I was so defeated that I gave up on recording this segment and moved on with my life. Until... It came to me, and I realized, finally, where the turnip prices were posted in the offer. I was finally successful in securing high turnip selling prices. I was so overjoyed. I asked the seller for a second round of me selling turnips so I could make some kind of profit um, in my idiotic escapades that I created for myself. So thank you to this person who let me go to their island twice to sell my turnips. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed me being a big dum-dum on Nikazan today. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Um, and I guess I will catch you guys in the next video. And also catch you on the flip side. All right. Bye-bye.